Hello, folks. It's Richard Moore, USA GSA, and I'm live with Larry Rutland, and we're in Fulton, Mississippi. And I've been in contact with Larry and his wife for some time now about them being relentlessly stalked, property being damaged and sabotaged, and so forth. So, Larry, tell us what's going on in the course of the day. You, you're saying that you're constantly being uh, followed and harassed. T tell us what's going on. And I, I go to work, and they follow me, and I go, I get up by 80 and then cut off the side, side road. Right. And that, and turn around, that they they lost me. And right. I, and I, I go back, go back and go back to work, and the white truck come out and follow me. I right. was at work. So what about when you get off work? Are they following you off work too? Yes, when you sir. get off work? And I, and I got home by eight, about, I get home and about, by eight o'clock, they'd be sitting there by the driveway and sit, sitting there. Just sitting there. Do, so what about at night? Do you, do you ever get any noise harassment? People revving their engines up, blowing their horns? Yeah. And, how often is that? Every day or? No, it's once a week. Once a week. Now, but they follow you every day, right? Yeah. Well, you have any idea why they followed you? No, sir. No idea. So every time you leave, they follow you, right? Yes, sir. Well, I get these other people <laughs> sliding by there, uh, sticking out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. So uh, and you work at a fast food place, right? Yes, sir. And so uh, tell me uh, what happened to your vehicle. Y'all tell me you, you had some things happen to your vehicle. Was that recently? Yes, sir. What happened? Well, they they tore the, the whole vehicle all apart and cut a steering column and everything, and they, they tore the wires and everything out. Do you have any idea why they're doing this? No, sir. Uh, have you ever seen the individuals on your property? No, sir. I just on the, on the, just up to the highway. Uh, so it happens when you're in bed at night? or is no, that, They done it when I pulled, they just pulled me over. They, they done it. When they pulled you over, yeah. Who pulled you over? Uh, that, um, black, um, black truck. A black truck pulled you over. Yeah. So, so it was a uh, law enforcement in yeah. the black truck. Yeah. So, what did he pull you over for? He said I had a tail light. I went to look, and I ain't had a tail light. So when, so when he looked through your vehicle, he destroyed. Yes, sir. And yeah, so no, no missing nothing. So he, so all those pictures you showed me of your steering wheel and everything else, he did that. Yes, sir. Uh, do you know who it was driving the black truck? No, I don't. I think we may have mentioned him in one of my videos. Yeah. Uh, who that probably is. But it's obviously somebody works for Edwamba Sheriff's Department. Yeah. You didn't get his name? Uh-uh. Um, uh, and, and so, but you see this on a daily basis, him following you. Yes, sir. Ain't that something? I, now. Uh, it ain't working. Do nothing. So you're not doing anything illegal? You're not on dope? None of that? No, sir. I don't do that. Yeah. And I believe you. How long has this been going on, Larry? You know, about uh, four, four months. About four months. Well, that's. Uh, do you have any reason why 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 it's going on? No, sir. I think they're trying to frame something. You think they're trying to frame you with something? Yeah. Well, that's probably a good. Uh, the, the harassment, folks. This is uh, this is standard stuff. Courtesy of Miss Neighbors and his clan of stalkers. They're out here harassing. And Larry, let me tell you what, you're not the only one. I thought the one in Edwama County. There's, there's a several, in, including me. And so I fully understand uh, what you're talking about. So anything else going on as far as your harassment, other than the fact that they followed you to work every day, they followed you home every day, and they pulled you over. Now, when was it they pulled you over? When was this? I a couple days ago. A couple days ago. And, uh, and you're going to send me those pictures, right? I've Thanks. seen them. And, folks, I'm going to put those uh, pictures up here. Uh, I'll paste them in here after this video. You can see the damage done by uh, by this sheriff's deputy. Now, um, you didn't manage to have your phone with you. You didn't record any of this as it was going on. No, sir. Uh, My phone was dead. The phone was dead. Well, from now on, you need to have your phone charged. Okay. Folks, hey, this is for everybody. Hey, have your phone ready. Have your camera ready. And, you know, this is the, the time to, uh, uh, to take care of these problems, folks, and to document these things is when they're taking place. And a dead phone's not going to do you any good. So we're going to post those pictures. And, uh, and folks, I encourage you to subscribe and to share and realize that we've got a serious problem going on with this 
organized, community-oriented policing, and the National Sheriff's Association Neighborhood Watch Program, where they're bilking the taxpayer out of millions upon millions of dollars, destroying American citizens in plain sight. Larry's done nothing wrong. He especially didn't do anything to deserve for an elected official or a public official to pull him over and destroy his property and then send him about his way. This this relentless stalking harassment, folks, always ends up one of three ways. Either the victim is committed to a life in an insane asylum, a penitentiary, or dead. This is how they, every one of them ends up. And this is not what we have these people in office for, folks. Unless we take a stand... And we make it make take a stand as far as voting for these clowns and holding these clowns accountable and exposing them every time at every corner. We're gonna keep doing it here, folks. Yeah. Until next time, God bless you. This is the damage done to Larry's vehicle when he was stopped by the black pickup truck Edwamba County Sheriff's deputy. Also, their house was burned recently, and no one knows who, what, when, where, and how. This is part of the stalking.